What's up? <laughs> I thought I'll change my intro for this video because I'm pretty sure you guys are saying, yo, what's going on? I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing that for what, the sixth time in like a week? And by week, I mean a day because I've been posting so many videos. So, hey, new intro for today. Uh, we'll be looking at Drang's uh, rebalance. I actually don't remember what he did because he was really, really underwhelming uh, upon before his rebalance. So I have to come out to go on GBF wiki <laughs> to look at what he did post rebalance. Cause I honestly don't remember. I think he had a heal, I think. Let me look here. Okay, so things that changed with Drank is one, his Ogi did not change. So unhappy hour is still pretty unhappy. Um, it does hit the fire attack and hit the water defense. It's not an awful Ogi by any means. Um, the fire attack is definitely very viable, um, valuable, sorry. so. It's not an awful Ogi or anything. Fair Trick does see a big change. Before it used to give debuff resist down and heal for 10% health. Unfortunately, he loses out now on the heal, depending on which form you're in. So that's one thing you gotta notice. In Switcheroo attack, he gets debuff res down and delay, which is really good actually for autoing and stuff like that. The debuff resist down really helps a ton when it comes to applying debuffs and having delay as well um, is just really good. Hopefully, I, I hope it procs the debuff resist down first and then the delay and not both at the same time because then he'll miss out on having that increased chance of hitting delay. I don't know how it works, but I would hope it works that way. And if you're in switcheroo defense, he gains, uh he keeps it healed again, but now instead of having debuff resist down he gets a boost to charge bar which is pretty cool um really helps with ogi builds it really depends though um you don't want to swamp too much because it's like it's really button heavy so it really depends but healing and boost to charge bar is actually really good since it's a uh, nuke meaning that on full auto it will activate so i think both are actually very good depending on what characters you're running Switcheroo does see a change that actually goes to zero turns, just like um, Sturm's whatever skill two did. I don't know the name of it, but Switcheroo goes to zero turns, so it won't be activated on full auto. Let's keep that in mind. Full you thrice is his skill three, and it does not see any chains. Um, I mean, it's a good skill three. The spell hit to attack and defense. It's not bad skill three or anything. Well, like maybe in 2019, or because it doesn't buff you, doesn't have stackable, doesn't heal you, doesn't nuke. <laughs> God, power creep is real. <laughs> so they changed it on a roll. Before, I used to gain stackable uh, attack specs or defense specs, depending on which form he was in. Now it's boost to attack specs at the end of a turn, stackable, and activates fear trick upon charge attack which is very good for the ogi build so if you're in the attack specs well if you're in what is it called it's attack right yeah if you're in attack specs you will activate the um that's how i roll applying the uh debuff just down delay so it's not bad at all and if you're in c spray surge he gets a boost to defense specs at the end of a turn stackable um, I one I don't know if it stays. That's one thing I, I, I'm not too sure about if the buff stays. I'll, I'll check in the fight, but I don't know if it's like a parma buff or anything. But he gets a boost to defense specs at the end of each turn, and fear trick activates when the boss uses a special attack. So any triggers, anything like an ogi, if you're in defense, he activates bursting bubbles. Okay, you know. This is a move in High Mercury and Dragalia. I've been playing a lot of Dragalia lately because I've been doing Master Mercury. And I, I just find it funny that the name of the move is called Bursting Bubbles. Anyways, it gets the heal to all allies and a boost to charge bar if he's in defense and the boss Ogies, which is not bad. Um, The boss will probably take on, it's probably, hmm, I, think, I didn't even think about that. Shiva, I, I guess Shiva's not a bad option, right? I, I mean, I can get things on Shiva. 
watered rather quick, so it should not be too bad. With the Ogi build, it's not that bad, right? Generally, I don't want to take on bosses that take too long because, you know, this me attacking a boss, like, like you don't really need to see everything, right? But I think Shiva should be rather short. Uh, we we'll bring Mist. I still believe we need Mist, but that's all we really need here. So we can just, um, Splitting Spirit. Do we have enough healing here? I didn't really think about the comp too much. I thought about the characters. I, I took Folia over Greya because I wanted Folia buff to not be debuffed. But I really didn't think too much about this team comp here. Splitting Spirit. Um, now we're bringing Pandemonium. Just for a little bit more Ogis. Both are, both are good. Um, just that Pandemonium is easier to use. If I can find it. There you go. I think either is fine to be honest, but just one is easier than the other. Okay, that works for me. And let's go into this. It's been a little while since I fought Shiva to be honest, but Drang had like a perfect kit to deal with him. Oh, we don't have no pots, do we? Oh, well, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I don't have crew buffs. Uh, oh, wow, we don't get nothing, huh? Okay, I guess we're gonna improvise here. I mean, we should be fine, right? I don't think it'd be that bad. Um, I mean, we, sh we should be able to still do everything, I think. Um, hmm. Yeah, we, sh we should be fine, I think. I just was not expecting this in any way. We'll just use his nuke, I guess. I think we should hit the, um, we should be able to hit the 95 from here, I think, maybe. And then we dispel and apply more debuffs. Well, I love that damage was pretty, uh, boo-boo. We need some buffs. Yeah, I got it. We should be like hitting around 5.9-ish, I believe. When they're like more buffs are on. We didn't cap the fence down or anything. Unfortunately. Because I didn't use Drang skill 3. I, I want to hit the 95. And then he gets a nuke, right? And then we hit 95. Yeah, sweet. And then we can dispel it. So now we'll be able to cap the fence now. Okay, cool. Um, we can hit this. Hit this. We'll hit Mackie for a little bit charge bar, I guess. Cool. We got a little bit unlucky there. Um, but we should be fine. Now, I don't remember his trigger top of my head. So I don't know when the swamp to switch your route. I only remember the 95, honestly. <laughs> that's the one like most people see, right? The 95 at the very beginning. So I don't remember when to swamp the switcheroo, but I'll try to swamp whatever I can. Also, I gotta take a look at his debuff. Swamp his buff to see it, the duration time on it. His stackable. Uh, I'm not sure if it's permanent or not. He had the really low Ogi damage. Probably need more buffs. He didn't have like a lot of raw damage. Um, yeah, they are. Seem to be permanent. Permanent. Okay. Well, I have to be Varu now. So next turn we'll activate his second form. I think we could do that. No problem. The damage is actually pretty uh, questionable. Oh, we have to activate this as well, I guess. Gabriel, to the heart. So this is what it feels like to not have Greya, huh? <laughs> feels like no Greya, man. 
It's been a while since I ran the Ogi comp without Greya. So. Yeah, it kind of hurts. So there we go. We're hitting a little bit better on him. We're getting there. And then he can activate. And we got a little charge battle there, you know? And then we can swamp back. Um, I don't know how how good that is though. Right? Like that's that's okay, I guess. He gets, like he gets to the defense stack. We're hitting a little bit more on autos too. So I guess we're applying more deb debuffs. Maybe we missed defense down or something. Uh, gets the nuke. Hmm. I don't know if it would have been a better option to go for the other nuke, actually. <laughs> so I, I don't know, like, the perfect rotation for his skill, too, yet. You know, first time running him, so. With his rebalance. So I'm not sure what I want to do yet, perfectly. Haven't decided. Um, Will Ogi get the nuke off? Well, almost a million auto on Kango build. It's taking mighty long. Why do I, why do I fight this boss? <laughs> why do I fight this boss? Somebody save me, dude. Oh, 75 trigger? Well, guess I just learned something. Uh, do we have Kango Belf on? Yeah, we do. Cool. We do this. Anyways. I want to make sure we had the Kango buff so that it's worth using the skill. Of, um, the triple attack skill. Without it, it's not really worth it, honestly. Mm. I don't know why I'm hitting this. Watch it give me a 200 charge bar, though. Alright, cool. And then I guess after this Ogi, we can use his skill 2 again to activate the passive nuke. He'll activate a nuke here, then we'll get another nuke right afterwards. The debuffs have really good hit rate thanks to his new passive though. That's good. Let me get the buff to the Use this. Oh, wait, did we delay? Oh, right, we did delay, huh? Wow, I gotta get used to that. <laughs> because his skill one delays so much that it's kind of hard to take an Ogi with the Ogi build, because he Ogi so much. <laughs> and he had rather good hit rate, right? Thanks to Vajra and his own debuff sets right down, like both of them on the boss. So it's very rare that he's gonna miss that. Like right now, if I was to, let's say, use his Ogi, mm, I don't mean, you know what? Let's just go back to attack. So we're going to Ogi anyway. Not even worth it. And we're going to hit it, I believe. I'm, I'm pretty much certain that's going to hit. So. And then I guess then we'll swamp back after this. The hit rate's really good. Now it's not the greatest damage wise, right? Um, but the hit rate though is really nice. We're actually gonna go for charge bar here. Get that charge bar and maybe get a, a double Ogi on Vajra, maybe? I don't know if we get it or not, but possible. Oh, you're probably wondering why I'm not hitting Folia skill three. It's, it's not really a Folia showcase and I don't really care about it too much. I want to actually take the Ogis to activate Drang's abilities. Just in case anybody's wondering why I'm not hitting it. And look, we were able to get Vajra's um, double Ogi thanks to taking that move. And then we'll get some more charge bar for the main character Ogi. Right here. And a heal. You know, it's really not that bad. It just, that is just, I guess it doesn't have the oomph effect, right? Like. The wow, you, you hitting like a trillion damage. Doesn't, it doesn't have that. Now it's good, right? Um, it's not awful by any means, but it really doesn't have that. Hmm, the high, the high damage output. 
that I would like. Oh, we took an Ogi again, huh? I don't know what this boss do, bro. Um, I guess we're gonna take another Ogi, maybe? At 85? 45? Yeah, I think hey, 45 to, uh, clear debuff, right? Or that 40. We're about to find out. Let's go. We're gonna have to evade Mackie here. Um, uh, we have to take an Ogi. Yeah, it's clear debuffs. All right, cool. We're in defense mode right now, though, so we're not gonna get Drang's Ogi, unfortunately. Because I, I swamped the defense. But we will get it, the charge bar boost at the end of this Ogi. Which isn't bad. Took quite a bit of damage from that, though. Let me get the heal there. Um, you have to evade Gabriel, actually. Now, because it cleared itself, we're going to have a hard time hitting debuffs here, as you can see. That was very unfortunate for us, but what can you do about it, right? Uh, we have to be offense mode, I guess. And we'll just out of here. We're gonna take a little bit of damage here. Um, I don't have any green pots because I don't have crew buffs at the moment. I forgot to put them on, but we should be fine, I think. Still decent damage, but not much defense down. So you know, it's, it's okay. We got the fire attack down. Um, he didn't offense, right? I was in defense. Like, well, we don't have none. Um, just, yeah, he's in offense mode. Okay. I mean, we could. Yeah, we'll heal up. The not the only other part of the fight is like what's five percent, right? The grid does run a little bit of stamina on the Opus, so we don't want to be too low on health. Man, I, I, I'm so used to running Greya that I forgot that, you know. The reason I don't hit 6 million is because no Greya. Ouch. Okay. The shield? Uh, we have enough to give him his buff, I guess. I actually want the heal and the charge bar, I think. Yeah, I do. So we get the heal and the charge bar here, and then we'll swamp back for the attack buff for his Ogi. It's actually pretty cool that you can do that, like you swamp back and forth in one turn for what you need. Now, as I mentioned, it's very clicky, so it's, it's not like something that you're going to be doing a ton but just having the option is pretty nice I think that three get that single attack on dog watch a single attack anyway and I think she probably triple attack I think maybe she tried <laughs> she tried a triple attack, you know, she gave her her best, her best. Alright, cool. So the dragon doing a lot more damage than the Folia buff. Too bad it took forever for it to happen, but you know. So we have some options here. What we can do is after use Folia's skill here. Ogi. With Drang to get his, uh, delay and stuff. And then swamp back later. You want long Shiva. I don't really feel the damage that bad, honestly. At the beginning it was pretty bad. But now with like more buffs on, it's not that bad. But I think after everybody's like fully buffed with fully a buff, right? That's quite a bit of turns. Unfortunately. And main character doesn't do enough damage without Greya. Hmm. 
makes me miss the auto comp. Okay, so options here. We're gonna have to use. Um, we're gonna swamp the defense. Cause I think we are gonna run into the five percent trigger here. I think, and to get that little bit of heal would be nice. I think. I'm saying I think a lot, don't I? But yeah, we should hit it with the chain burst. Or not. Alright, well. I think we're gonna just Ogi here, and that'll be fine. I forget if the white damage breaks fully a shield. I don't remember. Uh, it's not break shield. We need to get the charge bar game though. So we go with this, this. At the end of the fight, defense buff, heal a little bit, more charge bar. We're getting 20 charge bar from it, thanks to everything. So it's not bad at all. I mean, this is overkill. I just want you know, get all the charge bar we can, right? But it's definitely dead. Four million. Oh, five million, still cap all geese. Okay, that's pretty much a drink. Um, I do feel like he's a little bit clicky though. But I don't think he's a bad unit. I just I don't feel like he'll be meta anywhere. He just he just a tad bit too clicky. But I think it's a really good solo unit, like for proud content, um, stuff like that. I think he'd be pretty good. But that's my opinions on him. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.